Hey, I'm Vicky and today I'm going to be sorting out my airing cupboard. As you can see, it has got itself into a bit of a mess. So I've only got two shelves here. The upper one is kind of awkward because it's partly obscured by the door frame. But because I just haven't been very organized in this cupboard, everything is just in a mess. It's just stuffed in. I can't find things when I need to find them. If I do need to find stuff, I end up having to pull everything out and refold it again. It's just not practical. So I'm gonna pull everything out and I've got some baskets to try and reorganize it and just get it to a stage where it's a bit more usable and it just looks nicer. So I'm starting by pulling everything out. On the upper shelf there, I've got all um, towels and flannels, both beach towels and hand towels and bath towels. And then on the lower shelf there, that's all bed linen. So there's a spare duvet for the kids alongside all of the kids' bedding, our bedding, blankets as well, because it's summer at the moment, so I'm storing blankets in there that the kids normally have on their beds. So as you can see, these are quite good deep shelves. There's just some more stuff I need to dig out there. They're deep shelves that hold a lot. They held all this stuff, but something's gotta give. So I'm gonna start by sorting through all of these items, get rid of the stuff that I don't need. Then when I categorize them, I can put them into these cool storage baskets. So one storage basket I've got is just this really pretty, gray and cream one and then I've also got these more um, these plastic white ones as well so I'll use the plastic white ones for the towels and I'll use the fabric ones for all the linens and I've already got some baskets as well you can just see in the background here I've got a couple of wicker baskets that I was already using I've just got some more storage baskets in so we can make a bit more sense of this airing cupboard so I'm starting by with the towels and I'm just sorting them into piles so I've got hand towels bath towels beach towels, towels for the kids, and I'm also getting rid of any towels that we don't need anymore. And in order to store these towels in those baskets, I'm gonna roll them just like this and pop them into the storage baskets like that, trying to just separate them out by category and have them in the cupboard in a logical way. So when I need to grab a fresh towel, it should be super easy to do. on now to all of the bedding so this is the harder bit I think towels are relatively easy to fold compared to certain items of bedding particularly fitted sheets so I'm going to start by separating everything out into categories so the kids stuff the kids blankets our bedding anything to get rid of as well anything that's you know just like we've had for too long it's starting to yellow all that kind of um, stuff I'm going to get rid of and then I'm getting to folding so just showing you here the best way to fold things up into little parcels like that so that they're easy to stack into these baskets. Now with a fitted sheet, the best way that I found with folding a fitted sheet is to just first of all start by making it as square or as rectangular rather as possible. Um, it's, it's impossible to get it perfectly with a fitted sheet However, um, I'm sure there is a way if you use a bit of like cardboard to wrap around it, I'm sure there is a way, but I don't have time for that. So I first of all try to flatten it out, get it as square as I possibly can, bearing in mind that it will never be perfect because it's a fitted sheet. And then I fold it in half lengthways. And again, you can just see I'm smoothing it all out, trying to get it into as defined a rectangular shape as I possibly can, smoothing it out as I go. Because getting rid of the air, any air and any folds that are trapped in there, that's gonna really help to cut down the size of it. Because when you just stuff it in, it's, it's like three times the size compared to when you fold it nice and neatly like this. So you get a nice parcel that will stand upright in the storage boxes like this. So as you can see here, I've got a basket for the kids' bedding right there. I've got a basket that's got some of their blankets in. That's an existing wicker basket that I already had there. There's a basket there with some of ours in. I'm just gonna show you my um, fitted sheet folding again. This is a single duvet fitted sheet, so much easier. I actually recommend, I'm doing this on the floor here with not a ton of space. It's much easier to do this on the double bed in our bedroom when folding things. So that now fits nicely in there with the other fitted sheets. So as you can see, 
This now is looking so much neater. With these baskets here, everything is much more accessible. I know that everything is categorized so I can find things when I want, when I need to put stuff away that's been cleaned, it's easy. All of the stuff we use most is at the front. It just feels and looks so much better.